and I, I know you see a lot of people out there with, that are getting laid off with the opportunity for employment, so they're not having to go the normal unemployment process of job prospecting if there's a chance for employment. So thanks for giving those couple uh, tips for our current landlords, current property owners. I have a quick question about investors. So I know there's never a right time to buy, but what, what are you seeing for somebody who may want to get into the market on an investment property, let's say like a one to four unit uh, property, a, a small multi-unit? That's a great question. Um, before I answer that, I want to touch back on one other thing. Sure. SDGE and a lot of the companies around town, they're offering payment programs. They're offering a bit of uh, forbearance too. So those property owners, they really need to talk to their utilities. They need to talk to the providers that they're paying and try to work something out with them. That's another little bit of, you know, kind of kicking the can down the road, which, you know, anyone could use right now. I know it's not a good thing and it's not always good to kick the can down the road, but if you could, you know, get your seven, eight hundred, nine hundred dollar SDG and E payment, you know, move down a little bit, you know, with these fourplexes and whatnot, it could be huge. So moving on to purchasing a fourplex, yeah. yeah um, <laughs> moving on and purchasing one, I think right now is going to be your best time to be buying because a lot of people right now will take, you know, a fifty thousand dollar, a twenty thousand dollar, a thirty thousand dollar reduction in their price because they just lost their job or they can't make that payment anymore and they need to move quickly. So I think it's right now is going to be a good time to purchase. Um, and it, there's going to be a lot of values out there where people, they, they not, might not necessarily be able to make that, you know, that second or third or fourth rental property payment. And they're like, Hey, I'm just going to sell it. Uh, you know, I came in at this at a really good price, just going to blow it out and use that to protect my other properties. So I think there's going to be a lot of good deals coming in the next few months on that. And I highly recommend someone to do that because when you buy a multi-unit as a rental, you can use future net rental income to qualify. So, sure. you know, Hey, I, I'm a teacher um, or, and I have a lot of money saved because I got an inheritance. Well, you know, teachers can't really afford that kind of payment, but they can now because if they put 20 to 25% down, they can use that net rental income to qualify. So it actually allows a lot more people to qualify to purchase a, a you know, rental property. So there's a lot of strategies out there and that's all the more reason why we need to talk to you, a trusted mortgage advisor, because people don't know the options available and there are so many misconceptions. And it sounds to me like there's a lot more hope and ways to work around it and do your best to make it work out for everyone. So it doesn't feel so hopeless and terrifying at this time. Yeah, and I've heard a lot of people say, well, what, what if I get laid off and then they, the forbearance doesn't work and this and that and that, you know, you can always sell the house. And if you are uh, of the mind, a lot of people are of the mind that if these foreclosures and these forced sales start happening, I know there's a moratorium on it, but eventually if you're not making your mortgage payment, the bank has to take the house back. It's, it's, it's simple. And if that's happening, there's going to be a lot of deals out there. There's going to be a lot of uh, opportunity. But it's, I guess it's all, it's all relative of the market, depending on what kind of help's coming, if there's going to be more help. Um, so right now we're kind of in a, you know, holding pattern, but right now there are so many good deals out there that I've, I've just seen, you know, even on Facebook, there's people, Hey, I've got a house and it's 60, 70,000 under market and they're looking to sell and you, you see a ton of comments. Oh yeah. Send me the information. So there are a ton of buyers out there, especially for rental properties. Yeah. Uh, I think right now is the time to buy. And that's, again, that's just my own personal opinion. Um, I've lived here my whole life in San Diego. And, you know, in 08, when they went down, people were buying houses for 250000 in San Diego. And, yeah. you know. I mean, I think that's just the reality. It's, un it's so unfortunate, of course, what everybody is going through right now. But if you are in the position where you have your nest egg and you're good to go, now's the time to invest in, in every aspect really because money's cheap right now that's just the reality of it mm -hmm. and also you know one other thing i wanted to touch on was the adus um the adus even down at the, the city planning office they have three models that you can choose from that they've already paid for so you're saving fifteen thousand dollars on an architect um the san diego the city of san diego is really making it you know in, in the county of san diego they're really want people to add on these ADUs. And when you do 
take out money on your primary or another property to build an ADU, not only are you helping yourself, but you're, you're helping the contractors, you're helping the subcontractors, you're helping the painters, you're helping the, and in that, it's a really good way to get people back to work. And it's a really good way for you to make money as the homeowner. Um, and that's something that a lot of people are starting to catch on to is, is the ADUs. And, you know, Roy and I have spoke about that many, many times. It's one of the number one ways to make your property, to create equity in your own property, where rather than, hey, I bought this house for, you know, 600000 off the market and it's worth 600000 Well, if you put an ADU in that backyard, your square footage is going up. And obviously it's permitted. It's, it's done the correct way, obviously. And that's another really good way of people to increase not only their rental income, their passive income, their equity, and then and basically their net worth.